in this section, I will be showing you uh, your individual Google Drive holder that you will utilize um, between your clinic and your billers. I already have one set up for you, and you can see it is divided by each individual office. So we have Centennial, Durango, Henderson. Down here, we also have a section for your Google Sheets for insurance authorizations. We'll go ahead and click on that to open that up so you can take a look at what it looks like. So here you can see just a preview of what the sheet itself looks like. Uh, if you were to actually open it up, you would be able to go in and edit. So we just have some example patients here. It will have any information on the status of the authorization. So approved, in process, appeal, denied. Um, once it is approved, the authorization number and date span will be in here. And any pertinent notes will be added in as um, they are being worked on. So this is something that your billers will be working in constantly. Um, it's here for your information. If you want to see the status of a authorization, where things are at, you can go ahead and click on it and see where things are at. So that is the authorizations. In this example, I'm going to be showing you what it will look like when you include your paper EOBs or references that you receive by mail to your clinic. Um, you'll utilize this in order to provide that information uh, quickly to your biller in a way that is centralized and concise. So for this example, I'll be going into the Centennial office. I personally like to split mine up by year and month. You can see I already have a sample EOB in here. If we take a look on in here, I'll go ahead and pull it up. It's just sample uh, for independent health, and it will show the statement date. Now, normally I would have gone in and renamed this. I wanted to leave it as a sample so that I can pull it up for you firsthand. But in this case, once you have it downloaded and uploaded, uh, you will go ahead and rename it with the uh, name of the insurance as well as the remittance date. So this one was 3-21-2013. This makes it a little bit easier for your biller to locate things if anything needs to be tracked down or looking for in a particular insurance and just generally makes it look a little bit nicer. So in order to add a new file, once you have scanned in um, to your computer, the EOV, you'll click on New, File Upload, and in this case, I will use another sample EOB. I'm just going to scroll down to this one and upload. Now it does take a moment for it to upload into the system. Um, in this case, it was pretty quickly. Um, so go ahead, same thing. We'll go ahead and click on it. Take a look at it. All right, we have Blue Shield of California. And the date of the remittance is, let's take a look. This one actually does not list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, it does. 60404. Obviously, in this case, we are using sample EOBs, so the dates are a little bit different. So in this one, I'm going to say Blue Cross Blue Shield 60404. So as you can see here, just have my individual EOBs ready to go. Um, once it is uploaded, it is instantaneously accessible to your biller. Um, if you choose to, you can email them and let them know that you have uploaded files um, to the shared Google Drive. However, we do check this um, Google Drive on a very regular basis. So it's, it's personal preference as to whether you would like to communicate that with your biller or not. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know.